Hi there, you're looking at a Loot Gaming Box, which is going to be unboxed by GeekSubscriptionBox.com, where you can find lots more geek reviews and unboxing videos. Now, what I don't actually know is quite what month this one is from. This is a box I received in December 2018, but it's a replacement for a box that never arrived earlier in the year, so I'm not sure quite what month has been sent, whether it's a replacement for the one that originally didn't arrive, or whether it's the latest box. So, I'll work that out, and... That details will be on the review, but I think you can see it's sort of a, it's not the biggest box, but it is quite tall, uh, it is quite wide, look at that, those kind of dimensions there, uh, weight is, I would say medium, so there'll be something interesting in there. So, let's have a look inside, we've got lots of gaming items in this monthly box from the Loot Crate family, as it says, document, share, enjoy, from Loot Gaming. So. Well, there's quite a huge amount of empty space in there, but not to worry. Obviously a standard size box. We start off with a t-shirt, as we so often do in geek boxes. And let's shake this one out. Let's have a look. This is um, Soul Calibur. Yes, yeah, Soul Calibur. I'm not the greatest gamer anymore. I'm more a retro gamer, so I can't tell you too much about this one, but... It looks, looks quite big, even for an extra large t-shirt, but that really doesn't matter. It's a, you know, very, very white, not the most exciting type design there. Well, the print's all right, but it, I think it could have done with being printed on a different colour stock. But, but decent enough, you've got the, uh, that nice fantasy art. And there's another sort of clothing item here, wrapping around everything. I think it's going to be a hat. Brown is always a good colour. And a couple of eyes on there. So these all ten these are all interesting license items. Does it tell us what those eyes are for? Um, loot gaming from Double Fine. So made in China, 100% acrylic. I, I quite like that one. I think that one will get worn. So a nice hat, and then lots of mini items. Uh, one of these completely pointless things is the pin, collectible pin. One of those Pac-Man monsters that chases you around. Official Pac-Man one, which is, uh, yeah, not nice as pins go. It's a bit of retro. What have we got next? We have uh, an air freshener. Cuphead air freshener made by Funky, which presumably is not the same as Funko. New car scent. They're always useful. I often hang them up around the house. Go very well in the car as well. Assuming it will smell alright, which is the bit I've not tried yet. You know, it's got Loot Gaming, so it'd be exclusive. And our final item, other than this booklet, which will tell us more. So the final item, Silent Hill. And I think it could be coasters. It just has that sort of feel to this box. It might be drinks coasters, but I could be shocked. And uh, it doesn't look like it, so look like uh, rubber coasters, very unusual number three of them, because oh, you tend to get coasters in sort of fours and sixes. Uh, let's, let's extract them, are they all the same, are they all sort of pizza type ones, yes they're identical ones, but they're rubber, they're always handy there, so useful enough. So, you know, it doesn't feel like there's a huge amount in there, although I do like the hats, but let's Let's look at this brochure and see what it tells us about it there. And, well, actually, I say a brochure, it's a poster. Decent sized poster. Let's start off by looking. It's the same Soul Calibur 2 design as on the t shirt. Well, no, sorry, it's not because the, the hand holding this sort of large sword type item, whatever it might be, or possibly the head of the creature, is in a different place. But otherwise, there's a big poster there, let's just try and get far enough back so you can see it. Let's instead look at the the information. There. So what have we got? The exclusive Psychonauts beanie. So that's what that is, Psychonauts there. Based on Raz's iconic headgear. I do rather like that one. Got the exclusive Pac-Man ghost pin. Yeah, of course, that's one of the ghosts they turned into, yeah, I mean I do like that for a pin, but it is only a pin. Got the exclusive Soul Calibur 2 Nightmare t-shirt, it's the evil sword Soul Edge, who can corrupt his wielder. So there you go, that's um, yeah, it's a, not the best t-shirt. The exclusive Silent Hill Custer set, there are five possible endings 
too good, too bad, one joke ending. Well, I don't think that means anything because they all look identical to me. But uh, yeah, nice enough. Got the cup of air freshener. Looks like you could have one of two possible choices there. Obviously got the, the red one. I'm not sure which one is Cuphead and which one is Mugman, but there you go. Well, it's obviously Cuphead because it says on it there. And that's it. That's your loot gaming. It's the nightmare theme, so that sort of tells you I presume this is a recent one. But as I say, the review at geeksubscriptionbox.com will tell you more. So take another look. It's not one of these subscriptions I get very often unless there's a, a sort of good offer on. But uh, always good to see loot crates, series of boxes catering to different interests. Thanks for watching. You can see a lot more at geeksubscriptionbox.com.